Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata. Thank you so much for joining me here on Mind Right Botanicals. I do appreciate all of your support. We're going to hop right into the message. Let's see what the message is at this time, what the Holy Spirit wants us to know. Okay. Libra. I don't think I've had a Libra reading in a minute. I don't think we have. So let's see what the message is at this time. Holy Spirit, what would you like for my Libra collective to know? Air sign, Libra collective. Holy Spirit, what is the message for my Libras at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the insight and the guidance that you would like for them to have from you through me at this time? Holy Spirit, what is the message? Messages for my Libras, my Libra con collective, divine feminine and divine masculines. Holy Spirit, what would you like for them to know at this time? Let's go. Let's see. Act two. Act, act two. So somebody thought something was over, but y'all are in act two, magician. Okay. What is this? Six of swords. Six of Cups. I'm telling you, act two. You the love of somebody's life. The song on right now is act two. Love of my life featuring Common by the Roots, okay? King of Swords. This King of Swords believes that he is the divine counterpart of another, okay? He previously took action that caused destruction between whoever this is that he feels he is the divine counterpart of, but he wants to reconnect with this person. He's realized the truth about this person. He's also realized some truths about himself. And he wants to step up to the plate. This act two. Somebody thought the play was over with. Somebody thought it was over with. But y'all, y'all, it's about to be an act two in this King of Swords life with whoever this Six of Cups is that he wants to reconnect with. I'm telling you, this man realized some things. This man woke up and realized some shit about whoever this is that he wants to reconnect with. He he wants to take some personal responsibility for the actions that he participated in to cause destruction in whoever this is life. Okay. He wants to step up to the plate for them. He wants to give them an offer. He believes that this person is his divine counterpart. I'm telling you, he, he feel like he is the divine counterpart of whoever this Six of Cups lovers is. And he's sticking with that. Something been revealed to him. This man coming out as all four kings behind whoever this is, okay? He most definitely believes that this is his divine counterpart and that when he reconnects with whoever this is, whoever's, whoever this is, Six of Cups, Hangman, Lover's energy is to this man. He will be a divine masculine. He will have fully stepped into his divine masculinity, into his divinity as a whole. He knows whoever this Lover's energy is, this person will make him complete. He know it. Who is this? Can we get some more insight on who he is gung-ho over Holy Spirit? Because he gung-ho over this woman. Could be a cancer. We have the chariot here. Okay. 
This could be, this is someone he sees having success with. He knows that if he returns to this person, if he travels towards this person, he will have justice. More about this chariot justice energy, Holy Spirit. He knows that the scales will be balanced in his life. This person could also have Libra in their chart in a prominent spot. We have seven of cups with the devil, with the nine of cups, with the six of wands, with the emperor. Okay, baby. Babies, I'm telling you, this is how much this man wants to be with this woman. Okay? He's all she could ever want. Okay? She got everything that he want. That's what I'm getting off this seven of cups. Any Anything that he wants, she got it. To the point where he is obsessed with reconnecting with her. Okay? Nine of cups to the devil. This would usually give me somebody who's very egotistical, who's willing to man manipulate and deceive people to get what they want. Y'all, I hate to be like this. I hate to be like this. This is what this Libra wants with whoever this energy is here. But this might be what they about. It's a facade to this person. This person is toxic. It it could be, because I seen that I was picking up on this Pisces energy off of this hangman and the six of cups. This could be a Pisces, okay? But this man is sure. I don't know. I feel like this person, this, this got karmic written all over it, child. I don't know. We finna clarify that. Because this man is absolutely sure that this whoever this is is his divine counterpart. But this man seems like he already went down this road with this person before. Some kind of action he took with this person caused destruction in their life as well as his. It caused some type of misfortune or loss. But since he's been apart from this person, he, he's come to this realization that they're his divine counterpart. Like he is adamant to believe he like he he is adamant that this person is who he gonna have a victory with and that he will pop out as an emperor to this world for. I need some clarity on this right here, y'all, because I'm telling you, I'm picking up some shit off of this. I was trying to give old girl the benefit of the doubt. But I'm picking up some shit off of her. Whoever that is. Whoever that seven of cups, devil, nine of cups is. It's some shit up with their ass. So let's see. Cause I cause I'm gonna tell you what I'm what I was getting when I was reading his energy initially. What I was picking. Spiritual confirmation. Child, I want to get some oracle cards. I want to see something real quick. Because I'm telling you, I'm picking up off some shit off of whoever this is. It's like he just suddenly was like, she the one. She my divine feminine. I got to have her. I got to. I'm not going to be complete until I have this woman. And it's giving spell work. Because where did this sense of urgency come from out of the blue? I'm picking up on some sudden sense of urgency. Some sudden type of epiphany this man had about this woman and this is a lot of heavy energy to have for somebody that you left in the six of swords okay but with this seven of cups devil with the nine of cups it's really given like this woman has manipulated something to make her wishes come true with this libra so let's i want to get a couple of oracle, oracle cards on this because i want to see what the hell Holy Spirit, forgive me for saying that. Bust out of your cocoon. 
I'm telling you, what did I just say? It's like out of nowhere, this man has had this epiphany and this burst of energy for this woman. He really truly feel like this is his divine feminine, his ideal love choice, his ideal counterpart. But this man did not always have this energy for this woman. And what I'm really picking up is that he ain't never really had this energy for this woman. So why all of a sudden is he seeing her in this light? It's because there is some manipulation going on here in order for her to appear in this likeness to this man. It's then made, I'm telling you, it's then made him pop out with this urgency to make her his. But it's because he's being controlled and influenced by a spell. Clarify, Holy Spirit. I'm telling you. Claim your art. It's out here in reverse. Now, if that don't, she need to go and claim that she a witch, whoever this is, that she like to do that damn spell work to get what she wants. So the camera cut off, child, because baby, she don't like being called out. Whoever this Pisces energy is that's messing with this Libra, she need to go ahead and claim them dark arts that she be playing around with because she do not want to claim that about herself. She does not want that to be known about herself, that she do mess around in the dark arts, okay? What else, Holy Spirit? Anything else you want us to know here from these oracle messages? I knew something wasn't right. Strengthen your gifts and be patient. That's what this whole been doing. I'm trying to tell you. This is somebody that he already left behind. And I was initially picking up that maybe he caused destruction in her life. But now I'm I'm pulling on some energy like she caused some destruction in his life. That's why he left her ass behind. With this magician energy that came out at first. Because I'm telling you, she got this man thinking that he did something to her. That she is a divine feminine of some kind, his ideal love choice, but she really ain't. Cause even though that's what he think with this lover's energy here, we see what she came out to be. Seven of cups, devil with the nine of cups. This is not anyone that he's going to be able to have justice with. And this Libra already know that because he didn't left her ass behind before because of some destruction that she didn't already cause in his life one time. Okay. That's why I said second act, act two. Because this is act two for this Pisces here. Okay? She strengthened her damn spiritual abilities. And she sat back and she waited for this man to pick up what she was putting down energetically and return to her. And that's what he's wanting to do. That shit work. Because whoever this Libra is, he want to be an emperor, a divine masculine so bad. But he not listening to his gut. He is neglecting his intuition because if he would listen to his gut, just like he listened to it before, he would block this woman from his life. Okay. So what's going to be the outcome of this Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Well, well, dang. Is he going to fall for the okie doke? Because, baby, whatever whatever she just did, whatever dark arts that she strengthened to get him to return to her, that shit clicked. That shit clicked, click, boy. But I'm telling you, it's because this Libra ain't seeing this, this Pisces for who she is. He's still messing around with this woman. It's something about sex here, too. Some type of sex magic she's also, she's also done on this Libra. Knight of Swords, I'm trying to tell you. Some type of action that she... Sex. Woo, child. The Holy Spirit calling whoever this Pisces is out. Because for some reason, I feel like I had a King of Swords reading a while back where King of Swords was dealing with the Pisces energy and he found out that she was no good and he broke up with her. I think this is a piggyback off of that. This is, that, this is part two, act two. I'm telling y'all. She ain't going out quietly. She definitely put some damn sex magic on that ass too, okay? 
Mm, mm, mm. I mean, this Libra didn't change his entire perspective about who this woman is, but we are about 15 minutes into the reading and we see exactly who she ain't. And that's a divine feminine. She ain't that. She is a Pisces though, because she did this to ensure that she would have a future with this man. And this is somebody he had been messing with and he put her ass down because of some other toxic manipulative shit she had already done so what he should be questioning is why all of a sudden has my mind changed about this woman why all of a sudden am i having a an epiphany about someone who has already shown me how destructive they can be in my life okay see that's what he need to be questioning four 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 on the clock on the clock is he gonna continue to file for the okie doke holy spirit Looks like he is to me. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. But as a result of him returning to this Pis Pisces and committing to her, he's about to suffer some endings in his life. His decision to love this woman is going to cause some significant endings and changes in his life. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Because, see, he had already been shown. We got the empress. I'm telling y'all, this man, he about to make an offer to this woman, but it's a slick offer when he should be cutting this woman off because she is the what? Then came out here as the devil again. Devil with the chariot. This woman may have cancer and Pisces in her chart, whoever this is, okay? She then came out here as the devil again. He, he didn't already been shown one time that he need to leave this woman alone, but he still is coming back for her and he is going to make her his empress. Okay. But we see what's going to happen. This man could also have Pisces somewhere significantly in his chart too. For real. I'm looking at how this, this death energy is falling right up under this King of Cups. His decision to love someone can make or break. His life. Sorry, y'all. I just got to download. Yep. His choice. His choice in love can make or break his life. Whoever this Libra is. He definitely has the power. To balance the scales in his life accordingly. But if he chooses the wrong partner, it's going to cause destruction for him. He's got to make the right choice when it comes to who he chooses to commit to. Otherwise, it can cause misfortune and loss in his life. And this man has not figured out who he need to have his guard up to. He ain't. It's like... He'll come to the realization after shit then popped off, but that's a little too late. You know, you got to know who to have your defense up to from the beginning so you won't end up in the Three of Swords. Because that's about where he about to be back at now. Three of Swords falling right up under the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Mm-mm. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Three of Pentacles in reverse, child. He do not need to. Y'all see how that fell right on top of her dark art activity here? He do not need to re-collaborate with this woman. He's already been shown what time it is with this woman. And he need to push past that spiritual manipulation and refuse to collaborate with her again. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling this man. Because the future is not going to be what he think it is. Okay? It just ain't finna be that. Because look who he trying to have a future with. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helps someone. And what this is really giving me, y'all, is that this man is the divine masculine of another woman. 
clarify Holy Spirit. It is. It's giving that. And this masculine just is going to, he want to fall from grace. Look like to me. Ten of, ooh. And I'm really dropping the mic on that ten of swords. What I just say? He look like he want to fall from grace to me. Ten of swords. Don't that look like fall from grace energy to you? Okay. So I digress. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember. If it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.